SPM, Form 4, Physics. Chapter 3, Forces and Pressure. In this video, we will summarize, the expected learning outcomes of Chapter 3, Forces and Pressure in the form of concept map. In this chapter, we will learn more about forces, and pressure. There are six main sections in this chapter. 3.1, Pressure. 3.2, Pressure in Liquids. 3.3, Gas Pressure, and Atmospheric Pressure. 3.4, Pascal's Principle. 3.5, Archimedes Principle. 3.6, Bernoulli's Principle. In Section 3.1, we will learn about, Pressure. At the end of this section, you should be able to, define pressure and state that, P, equal to F, over A. Describe applications of pressure, and solve problems involving. In Section 3.2, we will learn about, pressure in liquid. At the end of this section, you should be able to, relate depth to pressure in a liquid, relate density to pressure in a liquid, and explain pressure in a liquid and state that, P, equal to H, Rho, G. Describe applications of pressure in liquids, and solve problems involving pressure in liquids. In Section 3.3, we will learn about, gas pressure, and atmospheric pressure. At the end of this section, you should be able to, explain gas pressure, explain atmospheric pressure, and describe applications of atmospheric pressure. Solve problems involving atmospheric pressure, and gas pressure. In Section 3.4, we will learn about, Pascal's Principle. At the end of this section, you should be able to, state Pascal's Principle. Explain hydraulic systems, describe applications of Pascal's Principle, and solve problems involving Pascal's Principle. In Section 3.5, we will learn about, Archimedes' Principle. At the end of this section, you should be able to, Explain buoyant force, and relate buoyant force to the weight of the liquid displaced. State Archimedes' principle, describe applications of Archimedes' principle, and solve problem involving Archimedes' principle. At the end of this chapter, section 3.6, we will learn about, Bernoulli's principle. At the end of this section, you should be able to, state Bernoulli principle, and explain that a resultant force exists due, to a difference in fluid pressure, describe applications of Bernoulli's principle, and solve problem involving Bernoulli's principle. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.